Hello Python programmers. So in this video, I'm going to show you that how you can create a terminal stone paper scissor game using Python. Now, I don't think so that I have to explain you the rules for this game because if you haven't played this game, then you must be having a very lonely childhood. I mean, everybody must have played this game with their friends or someone. So actually we don't need any external library also for this game so no need to install any package let's get straight to our editor and start writing our code okay so first of all let me import the only library which will be required which is called random it's pre-installed so you don't need to worry about this so let's create a infinite loop while true for all those beginners this is a nice video where you will learn some of the uh, very basic concepts like uh, what is an infinite loop and how you can check that whether the user have entered a integer or a string or these basic concepts which you can apply on a bigger project that you will be working in the future so let's create the string which will contain our three options uh, sorry which is stone paper and scissor stone paper and scissor now let's create a variable which will extract uh, it should be random random dot choice now this is the class of a package random which will randomly select one element from this string uh, from this option string so now let's take the input from the user let's create a variable input user and let's take the input now we are using multi line string here uh, with these three inverted commas you can create a multi line string so for the user enter your option uh, no option it should be option sorry uh, first is stone make sure that the order remains the same paper and scissor sorry scissor now if the user presses sorry now if the user presses Q then this infinite loop should be broken and the game should be quitted to exit we'll create condition for all these uh, let's write enter your value so now let's take a first condition if user dot uh, user input dot is digit now this um, class or this method will return only two value if the user has entered a digit like one two or three uh, which which signifies to stone paper or scissor then this condition will be true and if the user hasn't press any integer it is a string or a float or anything else then this value will be false so we want to check if this value is true so if this value is integer then first of all we'll do one thing uh, we'll convert the user input into integer simply convert it into integer and then if 
the option of the user input minus one because as we know the indentation starts from zero now let me write this code then I'll explain you what this means now let me explain you so here we have taken the integer input from the user which can be 1 for stone 2 for paper and 3 for scissor but in python the indentation starts from 0 so this is why we have subtracted the value from 1 so that if the user has entered 1 and they want the option to be selected is stone then this will be user input 1 minus 1 which is 0 and in the list option at the 0th value we are having stone so this is why I have told you to uh, write this these options in the same order we have our list so if the uh, user input is same as the randomly generated uh, option then we don't want any change in the score uh, we have created two variables which will store first the uh, score of the computer and second the score of the user so if the values are same then uh, then according to rules then there won't be any change in the scores so if uh, sorry elif option uh, user input minus one equal to equal to stone then we'll have two conditions here first if the input if a is equal to equal to paper uh, then what will happen here is the computer score will be computer score plus one now let me explain you what is happening here so if the user selects stone and the randomly generated option is paper then obviously the computer wins because the paper wins on the stone so the computer value or the score is incremented by one so let me make it a bit fancy so I'll say computer wins here uh, it's not wins it's wins uh, sorry wins uh, then print the computer score and the variable here will be computer score and some spaces user score ah uh, user score is equal to then the variable user score so and we'll also add a empty line so that there is a good spacing so let's do the same if the input is scissor so I'll simply copy paste this and it should be elif elif a is equal to equal to scissor then it will be opposite the user will win 
the user score will be incremented because the stone always wins from the scissor and the user wins and then we'll display the score for our computer and user so let's do the same for all of the value we have done for the stone stone let's do the same for paper and scissor also okay so we are done with the game logic now let's come to the quit and if the user enters something uh, invalid so let's do the condition for that now elif the user input dot is digit equal to equal to false uh, not flaws false then what it will do is it will check a condition if the str of user input equals to equals to q or the user has pressed the Q button which means that the user want to exit then we'll display the final score let's say final score and some nice spacing here <laughs> okay and we'll print the final score print computer score then the computer score variable and then the user score uh, sorry then our user score variable here now if this is not the condition or the user has entered something else we'll simply write invalid input oh wait i just forgot the break here because we want to break outside the loop so i'll write break here and i guess we are good to go and we don't need anything now so i'll just save this go back to the folder shift plus mouse right click open partial window here python one dot py and if we have stone then uh, nothing is displayed but why nothing is displayed let me see that what is the reason behind this okay so actually there is a block problem this is not the elif for this if this is the elif for this if <laughs> uh, small mistake and nothing happened this is the worst condition when you don't get any error but you don't get any input also i have to just indent all of them so 
let's run this again and if we press 1 then the computer wins and the computer score is 1 let's press 2 and the user wins but again the computer score is increased let's see why so here computer wins and it is increased actually I haven't changed uh, the output which will be printed it should be user wins and it should be computer wins so let's see this again uh, let me close this one first and run a new one okay one nothing is displayed one uh, actually nothing was displayed because the user and the random uh, output was equal and one the computer wins computer score is incremented user wins user score is incremented again the same now let me make a few changes so that uh, we are able to get when the output is same let me write something here let's say print lol we are same save this one and close this run it again let me scroll a bit up one the computer wins one the computer wins one the user wins and you can see the incrementation system is working perfectly lol we are the same because the same is the input lol again same <laughs> computer wins computer is winning a lot of times uh, three lol we are the same computer wins and I'm really bad at this right <laughs> five is to one really bad oh I'm improving <laughs> okay so let so the game is working fine let's see the quit option and the quit the quit option is also working fine because after we have pressed press the Q button the loop is exited and the final score is printed to us so this was a short project but a good project for beginners and intermediate persons because this project will explain you some of the basics of uh, python like how the random function works and how the loop works here the while loop and how the conditions work and some of the methods like is digit and many things you can learn from this project so it was a good project for beginners and intermediate so this was it for this video and in my channel i create lots of such projects so if you love this one i'm pretty sure you love them all so i'll meet you there bye bye